Today we'll cover more in detail about one of the indexing structures. Uh, one is IS two like two structures, and the other one would be okay. So index sequential access method. This is. I mean, this is not algorithms course, so we won't be delving deeper into how they implement it, but we'll certainly see how they work around it. But the idea that you want to take home from today's lecture is these are the two data structures that are being used. B plus trees is extensively used for indexing. And what it is doing is this lecture actually expands on if you have, this is your record. And remember, we made the index here. And some kind of mapping we did. So we are going to expand on this part. How you want to organize your index so you can do your search faster. OK? So let's look at ISAM. So ideally, an index would be so there will be a pointer p0, then there will be p1, k1, p2, k2, and going on. So what we have here, these are representing the keys, and these are the pointers to the records, which follow. So if, if we were doing it on salary, value of the key may be 20 here. And this pointer will then point to the record which corresponds to this key. So then this is our index. Okay, And if this index is built like this, what is happening is this is where is our a record. So if this record is very big, your index also ends up becoming big. But the advantage is that this may have a lot more fields than your index. So that's why you gain performance here over this. Now the question came, how do you improve the performance if this becomes really large? So now let's Start looking at the index itself. You say when I was reading the book, uh -huh. you know, I mean, the thing comes up like, okay, you know, we know kind of going through the records and looking, you know, that the index seems like a huge advantage over that. Mm -hmm. And then just it seems like, gee, with modern computers, it, to make it really an issue to have searching through an index be a big overhead item. I mean, can you tell me practically, is that is that still the case? Yeah, it is. It is. It is. Uh, think of a database of a million lines mm -hmm. of data with 20 fields. And this is real. This is a small data which I know one of the projects was work on with. Okay. And uh, it just, my only problem is I can't give you an example in which the indexing, because the problem we did when we joined AD, there was a problem set. Every, everybody got trained for two weeks on actual rigorous coding, doing performance, enhancement on queries, doing data import per data scrubbing. And that is when we imported this uh, database, uh, example database, which had a million lines, which had corrupted data. So you, when you do a data import, you have to make sure when you insert in your field, you don't break your integrity of your data set. Otherwise, it won't insert. But the import, you can kind of, I mean, that's a one-time thing. Where right. You take all the time you want to make exactly. it right. So what we did after we did the import is when we started looking at the queries to access, prepare reports out of it. 
and if you don't have indexes it it was like it would take several seconds to do it one report and with indexes you can come down to milliseconds okay so now yeah so the question is okay i can understand that that advantage oh, okay i thought enough, but uh -huh. now like to start worrying about the indexes like for this one you know just based on very crude ideas i have an index oh you know you make 20 different binary trees on each of the fields so anybody does a search you know bing you've got it mm -hmm. And it's, you know, okay, maybe it takes a while to create those trees, but again, you can let that run during downtime, so to speak. So, but now you're saying that it actually makes a difference, the indexing scheme in terms of... Performance. I Maybe I totally misunderstood your question. I'm sorry. Can you so rephrase what? it? Because I just went totally sideways, that means. Okay. So there's a bunch of different... We're talking about different indexing schemes yeah. here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you're right. And... Um, just seems that having an index is, you know, like that, that improvement. You right. Before seems that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Looking through a table, one table rather than yeah. a zillion records. But it just seems, I don't know, it just. Does it okay. really make that much of a difference what scheme you use, what the index, index is there's a small relative. Well, some stuff would be like, like B trees, uh, I don't think this is the right way, but whichever, well, one of them is not good if you have a lot of records that have the same value because it basically becomes flat again. So if you know something specific about your data, you know that. Yeah. I guess I would intuitively think yeah, if you're doing inserts and modifications. Again, it comes down to the question of how the data is going to be used. You know, again, it is always a, it always comes down to whether this data set, same, if there is what type of data it is, whether it is mainly reads, whether it is a lot of updates, so then you want to every every scheme of of indexing is solving one problem really well and that is how they got evolved so that is when you'll make that that choice whether for this kind of a data set i'll be choosing this over this does that yeah i i, I can just tell I, i've kind of I've been implicitly thinking the whole time about just the pure finding problem, but not the, the updating problem. Yeah. You'll see that in uh, this ISAM, which is static, you don't. So the the fundamental idea is that you define all the leaf nodes and the search search nodes in the beginning. Right. Okay, and you don't delete the leaf nodes when you delete the data. So, and now if you go to the other one, which is say B plus trees, which are constantly making sure that they are uh, balanced. Right. So in that you will have, so both of them will have their own advantages in one, and the other one is then suddenly you have these leaves which are empty. Yeah, and I can see it also matters like okay, you're doing a lot of updates during the day, so maybe you know by the end of the day it's performance could have really degraded if you have the kind of indexing that, you know. That's Going and the then linking at the bottom, yeah. But then at night, you know, and down to the back. Day, re redo the whole yeah. thing, but maybe that's too late by then. Maybe you pay too big a penalty intraday. Probably. You mean that at night so reorganize it, then right. next day keep going that way. Right. Yeah, I don't know. Right. Yeah. I have actually asked, I have actually requested, I haven't asked, I have requested if we can get the uh, somebody from our DBA group at AD to come because I don't have something that I'm missing which I really want you guys to get exposed to is that the real work that a DBA does. I have gone through these problems as I was trying to solve something for a client or as they came up in writing algorithms for my research. And that is how I'm taking courses along it. But I never actually sat and solved a DBA problem that somebody's database crashed and you had to got, get it back. That kind of thing would be a huge, I feel that if I had that, I would be able to give you so much more. And I'm, I've requested, I hope somebody can come even for one hour to actually sit with you guys, give you just another, another abstraction layer on top of why you are doing all this. So hopefully we'll we'll get that and then we can make a discussion out of it. Is that okay? Okay. So 
uh, what were we talking about uh, index yes okay so if this index is really large and it spans multiple pages the binary search through this this is sorted because it has a key which is sorted along with the record set the binary search also becomes quite expensive so what it started happening was they wanted to reduce it down even more when the final index can be fit into one page okay so you will start from this so i'll i'll draw it otherwise it will become confusing I don't yeah, oh yeah. So here are our pages of data. Okay. Then this was our first index and just for depiction point uh, let this be spanning three pages. and these will point to the first entry here first entry here oh sorry okay and i'll make it simpler if we make it four and then we make an index on top of this And finally, you have this index, which is only one page, and you can get to everything below it. So why are these things divided in two? I just this is just depiction. I'm just thinking that each page can only take two pointers in it, just because I can't as a depiction point only. And I have kept it consistent just so that we know that this represents one page. So everything's on one page. But to start off with. In order to get to some actual leaf here, yeah, leaf here. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Excuse me. I'll put in some numbers so that it'll become clearer. Okay. So there is this data has key say one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. No, these are the key values. Values in here. Okay, but aren't they interspersed with pointers too? Yeah, to the data, to the real data. I just want to draw this okay. leaf node because. because yeah, but you're right. The real right, and then this is the pointer here. So this pointer will be say P one or whatever it is, and uh, because P zero will be somewhere here to start off with and 1 then there will be p2 which will be 3 okay this key value is 3 here okay then you go up here say this is say, another pointer p prime which will take 1 here okay then there is a pointer here which will take 1 here where's the second one which one? Uh, yeah. This one? Yeah, this one. Yeah. This one is going to point to 5 here. So, be 5 in the right hand box there and that. 7. Zero. Because these are also having their own pointers pointing down, right? Right. The one next up. This one? Yeah. Five. You're right. Okay. Because what you see is here, if if something is between 1 and 5, it has to go on this side. Let me just put the number here. So this would be, here would be 13. Is that correct? 
and this would be 9 please stop me if i make a mistake somewhere otherwise everybody will get confused oh, sorry i'm sorry you stop? okay <laughs> Realistically, could something wouldn't be between, because these are the way these are sorted, uh, something wouldn't be between 1 and 5 and be below 1? No, they won't be. See, try to... Like the 4 would be... Because they are sorted. Five. They are sorted. That's why. If this was... If this was... If you want to get to 4, you'll follow this tree, then again follow here. Right? But then, because it is bigger than 3, so you'll come here. They're not necessarily sorted on those records, but the pointers then go wherever they need to go. Right. Is uh, ask me. Uh, I may be able to explain it more if you want to know. It seems to me that when this was being built, mm -hmm. it wouldn't. The numbers wouldn't be laid out in that structure. That the. The four mm -hmm. that's at the very bottom would be next to the five. Where on next the to second row. Why would it be next to the five? Second row from the top. Oh here. Or because it's not going to be between one and five. It's going to be less than one or greater than five. No. No 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 no, no 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 no. It is going to be so. What you are seeing here is anything five or more is going to follow this pointer. Anything greater than 1 or greater than 1, less than 5, is going to be this side. So we just arbitrarily say that the leftmost gets the cluster of everything less than up to the next one? Yeah. And it gets everything up, but we split it here, so it can't get anything beyond 8. Because for 9 onwards, you split here. So both of them get clustered with the delimiters coming from top. Okay, I, I guess I just don't like the, the asymmetry of it, but that's just... <laughs> when you insert something, you have to rebuild the tree. Okay, that is another... Uh, so that is, that is the next thing. So with this, so we defined, say, this tree. So now his question was, uh, we can talk about it later also. Well, what we'll do is we'll pick up an example and we'll go through it again yeah. after the lecture. Okay. Uh, what was your question? In, insert. Now, if if something is to be inserted, it is going to come on the leaf nodes, and then you have to create another page for it because there is no space. Okay. So this is how you generate the linked pages here to do the inserts. The problem with this is when you delete, you delete this one, let us assume. You just leave it blank. So there are a lot of blank spaces. The thing that you mentioned that if things keep on changing during the day. But if, if things move out of here. So I'll, I'll give you an example. So an insert adds layers. Yeah, if there is, if nothing is empty. Okay. If there is something empty, then it will insert it. It doesn't get bushy though, it just goes straight down. Yeah, because you, it, you have to follow that hierarchy where it is going to be in that range. Let us look at this. You could actually have deleted this, but 5 will stay up here. So what, what is going to happen is you requested 5. Uh, your search wanted number 5, for an example. So it is going to keep following, and then it will hit here, and it won't find it. Because the data has to fall here. OK, so it will return that not found. So it's inefficient in the sense that it doesn't detect that until it comes. Absolutely. Yeah. So before that insert was made in that bottom this one uh, yeah box was added that bottom row of, of <coughs> keys actually have pointers to data right? you're right yeah so in order to insert another set of key pointers you have to move that pointer your pointer is not yeah. moving here because this is still pointing to so when you do this you'll insert a new pointer right when you added a new data Right? So you will have a new pointer to the new data that you added. So the, 
the, the five box there mm -hmm. used to have no Jeff down below the very bottom. Mm -hmm. And I used to have a pointer attached to it that went to the actual to the five. Right. right. Uh huh. So now we're replacing that pointer no longer points to the data. It now points to our new box. No, that is not. No, no, no. It is not being replaced by that because you could still have this. Right. This pointer will go to data still. All this is telling you is that it is going to fall in this tree to look for it. But it, but how it follows the tree by by these pointers, right? Yeah. So it can so no, can this five can have two pointers, one to the data, one to another set of keys. It is linked here. I should say. Uh, They're separate. The, 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 the two this is another page. This is another page that is added in here. Mm -hmm. So for for the matter of this search, this is not like another level is down here. Oh, okay. For this level, you can think of it as another page appended ah. here. And okay, so the, I didn't. I mean, I kept this representation because book is using it. Okay. It confused me also initially that you are actually place. adding a new layer, but there is nothing below leaves. Okay. And what points to it? How how would you get to that section? That new Which one? one? That new one. If that new one that you add. So this page. So now because I made it all complete sequence. For instance, let there be 6.5. Okay, which is which is going to be here because it is less than five. So if it is six point five, it is going to follow here and find it. It's just like a linked There is another page attached to this leaf. Okay, so the so the same pointer is at five that brought it to the five. Yeah, is going to is, is going to, to take it two pages. Three, two, yeah, two four pages. four you can say four entities. Okay, so this is good for inserts. This is as you keep inserting. Every, when, once you make it down here, you're then just doing a linear search through whatever's there, and that's so you know minimize that. And these root sections that have longer than a page. Mm -hmm. uh, excuse me. The the, the base. Mm -hmm. The base. So this the one. Pointers end up longer than a single page with inserts. Right. Yeah, you can have. Okay. My now after you asked me the question, I made. I am now thinking. What is going to happen if we get rid of this? What happens to this pointer? You know what I'm thinking is that somebody deleted, somebody deleted the data. Okay, uh, this is our data, and this was five key pointing here. Now we deleted this five, and this also went away. Somewhere. No, that is not a problem because five is not going to point to these. This point is taken care of. My, what I am thinking is, so if we insert seven or seven point or six point five here, or six point two, which goes in here, because that is what is confusing me now. I read it in the book that when there is an empty, you can insert in there. So what? How will you reassign this pointer? You understand what I'm saying? That one is you. Oh no, I think you can. That's fine because it is just an address. No, no, that's fine. It's 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 fine because you all you're doing is you are giving it the address, so it'll work. Sorry. Clarify in my brain. Okay, but this part is clear now. Index. This is the index record, if you will. Absolutely. This is how you should actually think. And, and this is a tree of pointers, of which the bottom one, all the upper levels are pointers to further pointers. All these are index uh, entries. Right. Till you reach the leaf node. It is pointers to data. That is the only difference. Okay, this is helping us sort. This is helping us point. Is there a SQL command that does this? When you just create an index. What I'm what I'm wondering is, I think we can specify the type of index that you want to build. Can can you check in the book? Do they specify something like this? How many choices are there? I think B tree is the most commonly implemented. 
इट कुड बी बेसिकली इट कुड बी सीक्वल बट देन ऑरकल मे हैव इट्स ओन सिंटैक्स इट मे पोस्ट्रेस मे हैव Originally, that bottom index, that what inspired this whole tree structure in the first place was that bottom index was all just one set of sequential pages, right? And that made it kind of hard to, to get through. No, not hard to get through, but uh, when you are doing a search on a huge one set of indexes, mm -hmm. uh, you are doing a binary search because it is right. it is uh, ordered. Yeah. So with very long indexes, uh, the overhead is very high. you want to break it up into smaller that that binary search you have to do in less number of uh, entities that is the idea that prompted this that okay let us before we actually hit the binary search on the leaf nodes let's try to classify or qualify more before we hit it does, how does this not doesn't this just model a binary search in a sense like it's like you guess the middle and you find out whether it's Yeah, it is it, in a way. You, you can you can think of it as parsing the bi binary tree. Like this takes log n, so that's just like a exactly. Search, so right? from from log n, depending on how many steps you have. Okay. Okay. So Not log base two. No, that is base two. That is log base two. Okay. This one is as many levels you will have, the base will increase. So you'll get right. much smaller time. Yeah, you only have to load the pages. In. It's it's meaningless here because this is a binary tree. Yeah, right. yeah it, I just it's the wrong example. Basically, it's actually an binary tree on each page, right? Right. Yeah. Okay. Just log it yourself. Yeah. It's okay. So that's the just how does this work? If you yeah, have on the on the page that starts with five as you know, the value, if the next value under that was seven, which one? Uh, um, no, one level up. Here. Yeah. So okay. you have a page, and the first value on the page is a five. Okay. Right. What if like the second value on the page was a seven, and you, on the same page, and you were doing a search for everything that was equal to seven? How do you? On the same page, you won't have the number seven. Okay. Because these are, uh, this is the first value of the next page. So it has to be exactly. Okay. So if you only have one value on the page that, if you had that on the page that started with five, all you had was one value, five, and your next value was seven. You just have to start that on the next page, and you so just have a page with just one record. I guess that is a very uh, I much bigger a leap in thinking, but think of it like this. that you will have if there are 10 10 rows in this page or records and another 10 in this one whatever the first value is going to be here is these are the key values that will go in here i just took an example because it was easy to write a sequence like this i should have actually done 1 10 20 30 so that you know that in each page the first value was 1 that went in and then 1 will go here and 10 will go here 20 will go to the next one. Okay, but you still have to break it up so that you Yeah. Don't. Always the first page because that is what will tell you that which page to go to to find it. Okay. And then this subsumes away the choice of having to decide what which uh field to index on in the first place. Fine. the top one will that's what the example of 5 we took that if you delete 5 from the leaf yeah. it will stay here and if you're looking for 5 it will come and tell you it didn't find it okay so in terms of inserting that we brought up that is called overflow because then you have to add more pages after you have already defined your tree b trees or b plus trees i should not say b trees because it is another type of tree and uh, uh b plus trees overcome this by dynamically uh, 
rearranging themselves. That is the power of B plus trees and keeping their balance, not having empty uh, slots or pages or indexes. So what is the difference between these trees and these last trees? Okay. B trees is left, right, left, right, left, right. In this, what you have is you have the tree structure, but as many branches as you can because these are pointers. Okay. So instead of being limited to only two. I'm sorry? Instead of being limited to only two branches from each node, you've got. As many as, yeah, because these are pointers. These are pointers. I don't know. I won't say that. <laughs> Alex can turn off the tape because this thing has really, really taken my brain off. I mean, yesterday night, I was I was trying to quali qualify the term B. And I was looking into my algorithms books. I pulled out my data structures book. And every, it is it is almost like uh, uh, full stop. <laughs> they use it so many times <laughs> in so many different forms. But I, I don't know what to say to that. But it is, I will not either way. So this, it is a type of tree. <laughs> that is certainly. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's not a tree, it's a sea tree. <laughs> Next would be B question mark tree. <laughs> it might be balanced because you rebalance it. That is, that oh. could be it. Ho, oh, ho, ho. Turn the camera. <laughs> So with ISA M, if you have lots of inserts, then on the bottom level, you're getting just a gross point by point comparison. That's what it converges to. Right? Exactly. And so at some, some time, you have to do the reorganization that you talked about if you want to stick to that structure. This one's going to rebalance every time you do something. So yeah. It's take time to I don't know if I would say it will take time to do that. I'm trying to think. Uh, I'm trying to think of the operation. You know, I'm thinking in terms of uh, the operation that will go into it. So what we will do is we'll be moving the pointers. Effectively, we are moving the pointers. Right? That should be because you are just changing the address. Because you're not, what I started thinking is, are you going back and writing to the disk? You know, that is where our time would get eaten up. But I, I want to, I would like to check that also, if you can check also. My feeling is because all you're doing is reallocating the pointers. That is all you're doing. When you. Okay. Okay. I will want to take the example of the book itself. Okay. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Yeah, like stacks of five tons at a time, and we've made at least five. <laughs> 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 okay, let's look at the B tree. I'll take the example that is in the book. What kind of discussions are you guys having in the, yesterday there was no recitation. What kind of discussions are you guys having in the recitation? Are they okay in terms of examples? Is that, just go over the examples and, 
And regarding the SQL uh, quiz that we had, Rusty told me that it will be good if we have a review of the solutions. Is that something that you guys want? Yeah. So we can use a recitation to, yeah. and a quiz on Sunday? This, this Sunday. <laughs> Take home. Take home? <laughs> Do it at home? Okay. Quiz or? So no quiz? Again? I'm feeling there will be two, two successive weeks without a quiz. <laughs> Usually, I, I think of projects and quizzes as really mutually exclusive. You go the project route, you go the Very strong. Very unbalanced. Okay. You trees. <laughs> So there will be no quiz on Sunday, is that what is the... <laughs> I think we should take a vote. No. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone gets one vote, including the teacher? Is that <laughs> Me and Alex. Quiz, I quiz. quiz <laughs> you have to film it then. Okay. No, I, I also actually, I had decided there will be no quiz so that you guys can actually think more about the projects. Really, then do a good job. Just justify your own time, really. And uh, second is then... I would use one of the lectures next week to give you guys a quiz. Okay? Because we should. We should. I want to have at least enough objective evaluation to give out the grades. I don't want it to be subjective that it, it, there, it should be something I can myself qualify. That's why. And we didn't have a quiz. We'll give you a lecture off and we'll have a quiz during that lecture. And, uh, Assignments, you'll get each other's assignments next week starting also. As soon as you guys submit the assignment, I mean the project uh, deliverables, they'll be given to three people apart from you. So you'll be they're, they're due like next week? Okay. Monday. Yeah. Don't, don't the AERD and the first deliverable. Yeah, what's the next stage of the project? Next stage would be if you already have all the SQL queries, I want to see what we get out of Monday, and then we'll decide what is the next step we should do. So. Okay. That's true. Your diagram and the queries should be if you have queries, or at least you plan to write certain queries for the new tables or uh, relations that you decided. Uh, put them in whatever can be put into uh, select and project relational calculus, relational algebra. Either one relational algebra or relational variables? No, both. Same query in both. Whichever queries would be much simpler. Try to use as many joins as you can, because you'll understand more. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's let's finish this example. In B trees. Huh? Yeah, B trees. <laughs> Was that him again? <laughs> oh, or somebody got up. Right? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. I said, oh. <laughs> so let's put it to the first one. This would go here. 17 would go here. 24 would go here. 30 would go here. Okay. Anything more than 30 will be pointed there. Anything more than 24, more than 17, more than 13, less than 30. Okay. So we will do uh, insert. Okay. Where is the insert? Just a second.
So the example is to insert 8 into an example B3. So you want to insert 8. So insert should come, 8 should come here. Okay? But this is full. I'm sorry, I must have. Yeah. Yeah. The 13, how does it relate to the 2, 3, 5, 7? Because anything that is less than 13 is going to point here. And then the last one, the 30 and the 35? Greater than 30. Oh, okay, okay. So the two pointers on the two sides. Okay, okay. Okay? Now we want to insert 8. So 8 has to come into this set. Okay? So this should effectively become... Another important thing about uh, the B tree is how many uh, how many values or how many pointers and values key value pairs it can hold. So if it is of order two, it has to have between two and four. So In this case, the order is four. So what is? No, it's two. What is the order? So the number, the uh, how much you can put in here. So if the order of this B tree is two, okay. So the number of uh, key value pairs, key pointer pairs, or key pointers pairs you can save in this is going to be between two and four. What determines the order? Is it the number of? No, you define it. No, no, no. You define it. You define it okay. of the B tree. The root can have between 1 and 4 then. Okay? Anything that is not a root can have only between 2 and 4. If it goes below 2, it has to be either merged with the siblings or moved up because it can't have 1 if it is not a root. Okay, you want to, so this is a way to enforce at least 50% occupancy constraint. Three would be three to six, yeah, nine. three to six, not square. Oh. Three to nine, did you say? Or three no, three to six, two three D. Six. Okay, so yeah, two. three to six. And, and that's the number of minimum occupied cells? Out minimum of? occupied is going to be D, whatever is the two or three that you say, and these. Right. So we'll never have this here. Then we'll merge these two and give an appropriate a uh, number here. What's, the, what's that called? Piece? Order. D is the order. Order. And you purposely leave blank spaces at first? Or no. no. Minimum okay, it's, just, uh, actually, it's just how sparse it can get before it emerges. Exactly. Okay. So we are inserting an 8. So it becomes this. Now it can't have more than 4. Okay, so we will pick up, say, the central value and break it up. So what we did was, so we'll break it up into three, where will the five go then? And this five. And 5 should join here then, right? Yeah, 5 has to come here. Okay? Exactly. So we'll split that now. Okay? So, so did it break on the middle one? Is that the idea? We pick up, this is discretionary. You pick up the middle one so that it gets distributed evenly. Okay. It's not, I could not find even in my own old textbook that there is a rule to do this. I don't know, have you seen it as a rule in this or it is actually the suggested way to do it. Whatever you break it on, that's what you add. You'll have to because this is what will qualify. Remember, this is what is going to distinguish between the two that where it should go out of the two. So when you get it to 2D plus 1, you write 1 to D and 1 to D plus 1. Yeah. Okay. 
Now this will be broken up and 17 will go up. And you'll make the new root node. Why does that one get broken up? Oh, because then it becomes 5. Once you move 5 up. So this is the difference when you do with ISAM and with uh, B trees. Uh, because again, the center one. Yeah. That you can keep the balance. Because if I take 13 up, again, this is going to die. If I take 24 up, this is going to die. Because it can't exist as single one. It will be less than two, right? Let's see. If d was equal to 1, then it will become. Now, I don't know if I would call it as a binary tree still. You know, the idea of binary tree is. Yeah. Well, Randy, oh. to me, the binary tree is something in which you have a left node, right node, and the parent node is lying between the two, right? That is why I would be. That is that is the only reason I won't call it. I still I won't. I let's not. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's that's why I'm saying that. So it's saying it's a ten here. So ten fills up the second thing. Ten here. Okay. And then you deleted three. So three, so now that has to be combined, and so it's combined with the one next to it, which means that it's now five, five. so you have to split it up again. Absolutely. We do all three of those things. So I, I think this is a very good example, just to understand the same. Uh, shall I just complete this, and then we'll do your okay. example also? I just want to get to the final state, and then we'll do Otherwise, it will become very messy, and I don't write very clearly anyways. <laughs> okay, so... Let us break this one up into its 5 and 13 here. So, this is interesting. You know, can you look at this figure? This doesn't look right now. Can you pull up this figure? Yeah. Why can 17 have three empty slots? No, in the book. Because it's the root. If it is the root, then it, it should not have... It doesn't have a neighbor to combine with it. It's no. Root, so. Why is it showing you root with a pointer? That is what I'm trying to understand. If I just want to understand whether uh, they that mean it root. to be a root. Yeah, I think they always have an arrow coming into the root. Yeah. Oh, that arrow to root. Yeah, and I think it's you have to... That is, that is there. Is that what is the representative? Okay. Okay. Seem like that would be a problem because we're restricted so they don't to use it in other places, I guess. Hmm? Yeah, they use it in the previous between D and 2D. See, this one then. No, this is fine because you have all filled up. That's fine. I think that's okay. I think it is basically a pointer to the data. Yeah. Yeah. It is not, it does not represent any connectivity to any. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Okay, but let the root me. Has the same restriction on only having minimum D. No, minimum is one on root. One. Yeah. For the root. For root, it is only for the root. It is minimum is one. Yeah. For the root, Okay. Let me just finish this. Then we'll do. Uh, so we have four. Did 
did I do something wrong here? One, two, three, four, five. How come I have six? I, I think in the book, the um, 513 yeah. cover the three left hand bottom, bottom pages. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, this is going to come here, of course. No, this this is 13, yeah. Yeah. I think And I think that 27 should be a 24. Is it 20? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I, I, I wrote it wrong. It is 24. It is 24. Okay, and now the 17 will go up here. Okay, so this becomes our uh, tree. <laughs> You're coming to your question. We were, we were like <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is it? Tell me. Oh, nothing. nothing. <laughs> okay. Alex, I want to give them this recorder because later on I want to hear it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Now let's come to your question. What was it? So say add 10 there. Mm -hmm. And then delete 3 from that guy. Okay, so we delete 3. So this becomes less than 2. So it merges with this. So we get uh, 1, so 2, 5, 7, 8, 10. So 7 goes up. So 7 goes up and uh, we are left with Two five, right? So what happens to those? Uh, so now this seven will go up here. Uh, in between, so exactly. three things there. Now. So now seven will go up a level. Now. So okay. So this is the five still up there? I mean, we yeah. Five will be on this side, so right? I mean, five in the second row from the top. The five, seven, thirteen. Since we've added seven, we still have five. No, we have this right here. As long as it doesn't get too big up there, the five will stay. As long as what can. would be the reason to oh, put? Okay, okay. You so understand this? Right. I thought the the two and the five were coming out of the. No, not they. They are being broken up into two. Well, right. Just a second. Five, so Just a minute. Let me think. Yes, I wrote it wrong. Just. Because I started thinking the 5 should be included in the next one. See, because the left one is less than the number. Right. 5 should not be. I made a mistake in copying down from 3 to 5. I wrote it. So this is 3 also here. Okay. What happens to that that has 5 in it still? Which one has 5? The down that still has 5 in it. I mean, it has 5 elements. Oh, oh, yeah. So with five elements, this is going to now break here, and this will give rise to two of these, and seven will move up here. And seven has to be in front of the eight. Yeah, seven is also down on the lower yeah. one, too. Okay. Where it says eight, ten, we need yeah. to have seven. Seven's seven, yeah. Okay. Marvelous. So, although, the, where did the five go? Don't we need the five down? No, there was no five here. Five is up here. I made a mistake in copying down from the okay, previous one. Okay. okay. If the key is a string, does this doesn't in alphabetical order? I looked at an example. There is actually an example in the book, and it does that. 
that I think it is David and other name, it gives you an example of alphabetically sorting them. Yeah, you can you can hash it also. Okay, I think the I want to leave the delete for the recitation. It's a similar thing, but uh, we'll have a discussion on uh, delete part of this or any other questions you have.